it's it's a mixed bag, I okay. think, Patriots yeah, right. Day. Uh, it's, yeah. it's, a, it's a true story, or uh, it's at least a, mostly a true story. Yes, it's right. about the uh, Boston Marathon bombing in 2013. And uh, Mark Wahlberg is the star of this, but Mark Wahlberg is playing a fictional character, right. uh, kind of inserted into all the action here. And I think that's honestly the movie's biggest liability. Mm. The idea that we once again have to have Mark Wahlberg as this super American hero who's present at every single moment of this event, and it becomes a little contrived and a little self-aggrandizing, I think. Um, but Mark Wahlberg is a good actor, and he plays this kind of solid working class guy, as he usually does. Uh, there's some really visceral uh, kind of action moments, uh, the bombing itself, and a shootout with one of the suspects, the, the director, uh, Peter Berg, who worked with Mark Wahlberg on Deepwater Horizon just a few months ago, stages that stuff really well. But I think as far as telling the true story and trying to honor the real people, which is really what uh, I think the goal should be, or and I, the goal is, yeah. it doesn't really succeed at that completely. Right, that would be a much harder movie to make, to do something like that and to do it right, that you'd have a bunch of people sort of right. solving all these pieces. Yeah, there's, Instead, no, there's no central Wahlberg character. Wahlberg is more what they call a composite character, yes. is that correct? Okay. Yeah, but yeah. I think uh, in doing that, they kind of cheapen some of the storytelling, unfortunately. Okay. Uh, number two, uh, this is interesting here, Live By Night, right? Yes, Live Rob By Night. With uh, Ben Affleck, yes. right? Uh, so he's made some real duds and some real good movies. So where does this one fit? Uh, I think this one is pretty solid. Oh, uh, okay. This is his fourth movie as a director. So he's not only the star, he's also the writer and director. Um, and I think it plays to his strengths with that stuff. It's another crime story, uh, like his previous films, Gone Baby Gone and The Town, uh, which were both very good. Yeah, this one not good. quite like as good. Okay. Uh, set in uh, the 1920s during Prohibition, mainly in Southern Florida. And Ben Affleck plays a Boston gangster who comes down to Florida to set up a new empire there. It's a bit sprawling and episodic. It kind of meanders from place to place at mm -hmm. times. Uh, but it looks wonderful. It's got some great supporting performances. Uh, Elle Fanning and Chris Cooper, both really good in this movie. And I think it comes together pretty well at the end. So if you're looking for something that's about you know guys in fedoras shooting at each other, yeah, right. I think this is a <laughs> solid example of that. It's not maybe as good as the other movies Ben Affleck has directed. I yeah. mean, Argo, for example, which won a bunch of Oscars. This is not at that level, okay. but it's still pretty entertaining. So good. All right, the final one here we got is uh, Sleepless. Now, this is set in uh, Vegas, yes. right? And it's starring Jamie Foxx. Yes. What is uh, this about? I haven't seen this one. It's, uh, it's, it's about uh, Jamie Foxx is a corrupt cop mm -hmm. in Las Vegas, and uh, he steals some drugs that he wasn't supposed to steal, and a bunch of bad guys are after him. Got it's it. an incredibly generic crime thriller. Okay. And while it is set in Vegas, most of it was uh, shot in Atlanta. So it takes place largely inside this hotel casino that is not one from here. It's a very predictable, by the numbers, kind of forgettable thriller. Um, some nice helicopter shots of the strip. I saw but that. But that's, that's yeah, about all that's that it has going for it right. in terms of Vegas content. So it sounds like your pick of the three would be Live By Night? I would say see Live By Night. I think it's better than people have been giving it credit okay. for. Las Vegas Weekly film editor Josh Bell, thank you as always for your time. I appreciate it. Thanks for having we'll me. We'll be right back, everyone.